I spend a lot of time teaching pickleball. I travel all over North America doing it. And we offer clinics on all sorts of different topics. Sometimes we talk about how to beat bangers or how to defend against tricky players, right, who really direct the ball well. Sometimes we talk about starting the point effectively, whether that's with a serve or a turn. I spend a lot of time talking about third shots, but I would say by far our most popular clinic, at least when it comes to the themes that we use, is spin all about spin, both sending spin and receiving spin. People really love to do this stuff. And I think it's because we don't always understand sort of how spin works, how to apply it, when to apply it, right? And how to sort of interpret it when it's coming. So why don't we go out on the courts and we'll do like a little bit of a crash course in understanding spin. A little wet out here. <laughs> really fashionable. Uh, you gotta pick a paddle. So you got, the, yeah, you show them the paddle. It's a lake, Dad. We're talking about spin. So, um, and it's about spinning the ball. So can you imagine why when people play pickleball, they might want to make the ball spin? Um, so... It's harder for the other person to get it because it's spinning. Yeah, that's right. It's harder for the other person to hit it when it's spinning. And sometimes pickleball players don't always understand how to make the ball spin in different ways, so we're going to teach them. Sound good? Mm -hmm. Okay, here, why don't you take one ball? Okay. There's an X on this. There's an X on it, yeah. Why? So, there's, uh, it's the kind of ball it is. It is. It's called an X40. <laughs> okay. There's three kinds of spin when you hit the ball. One is called top spin. One is called back spin. One is called side spin. Top spin, back spin, side spin. Which one should we start with first? Side spin. Side spin, ooh, okay. Side, you know what, side spin is like everyone's favorite one. So when you hit the ball, right, let's say we're hitting it to the people at home. Um, if we hit the, yeah, like that. <laughs> when we hit the ball, if that ball, as it's flying away from us, it's spinning sideways like this, or it could be spinning sideways like that, right? That's what we mean by side spin. So it's flying that way, but it's spinning this way or spinning this way. And the reason you might hit side spin is that once that ball bounces, if it's spinning sideways that way or that way, it's then gonna jump that way or that way. So someone might think, imagine if I was hitting to you and this ball's got lots of side spin and you think you're in the right place to hit it and then it goes whoop. Yeah. I know, right? Or you might think you're in the right place to hit it and it goes whoop. Right? It could be tricky. Okay, so that's why you might use side spin, is to make that ball sort of curve left or curve right. Now here's how you do it. Can you hold your paddle like this? Okay. Um, the way to make side spin happen is that you come across the side of the ball here. I'm gonna cut you. Yeah, Can like you that. you get that? <laughs> yeah, so you, here, you want another one? Okay, so you come across the side of the ball. And the thing about it is that um, you can do it where you come this way, that's using your, what we call your forehand, or if you flip your hands over, and you come across the other way. Imagine if the ball was coming to this side, mm -hmm. and then you said, oh, I know what to do. I'm gonna make side spin happen, and I go and then the ball will spin over that way. Okay. Okay, Okay. so um, sometimes people struggle to know which way it's gonna go. Wouldn't that be nice if you knew, even when I do a side spin shot, which way the ball is gonna yeah. go? Okay, so here's the way to think about it. You can see in the camera here. If I hit from this side of my body over here, then when that ball flies away, it's gonna bounce, we call it kick, it's gonna kick to that side. So if I hit over here, then after the side spin, it's gonna kick that way. And if I hit on this side of my body, over here on my left side, then once it flies away, guess which way it's gonna kick now? Um, that side. Yeah. It kicks whatever side it's coming from. So imagine if I was playing with you at home, right? If I go and I was to hit this way, and that ball, it's bouncing, it bounces, which way is it gonna kick? If I hit it from here, that's right, it's gonna kick that way. And if I did it like this, over from my backhand side, and I hit it, and it goes, and it's gonna bounce, and yeah. So, you, if you're playing pickleball, and someone does one of these side spinny shots, you know which way it's gonna go. But you know what? You have to watch. Because if when that other person's hitting the ball, if you're not watching them, if you don't know whether they hit from this side or this side, then guess what? You don't know where it's gonna go, right? So you gotta really keep your eyes open. Okay, so that's how you handle side spin. Make sense? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's you watching. All right, so backspin or topspin, which one should we talk about now? Backspin. Backspin, okay, you want a ball again? 
cool. So backspin happens when uh, you're, well, when we hit the ball towards the people at home, right? It's flying, it's flying toward them, but while it's flying toward them, it's also spinning backwards. So it's flying away from us, but it's spinning backwards, okay? And the reason you might do this is when you hit with backspin, that ball, once it lands, it kind of skids. The ball stays quite low and it skids after it bounces. And that's really good in pickleball if you can put people down low, because then they can't really hit that hard without the ball going out. So the way you make backspin happen is you open the paddle. Can you do this? You make it so it's tilted up a bit. Perfect. Now, if I just swing straight back to front and my paddle's tilted up, guess where the ball's gonna go? Where do you think it'll go if it's tilted up like this? <laughs> yes, it'll fly up in the air, right? So what we need to do is we need to counteract that upward impulse that's gonna happen with the open paddle face. And the way we do that is by having a slightly high to low swing path, right? So we come slightly down on the ball. And so even though it's tilted up, if I'm coming slightly down, then that ball is not only gonna stay lower, but it's gonna spin backwards. And I can do it on my forehand or my backhand side. That was pretty good, actually. Thank you. And so often we call this, um, they call it a slice. Often when you hear people say slice, they're talking about backspin. Kind of like you're slicing a pie, sure. So, we know why we might do backspin, right? To make that ball skid and keep it low. We know how to do it, a high to low swing path and an open paddle face. Now we better know how to handle it. When we see someone have that high to low swing path and swing down, we know that ball's gonna skid. So it's really important that we're prepared for that little quick bounce or for that ball to stay low. And so usually a shorter backswing is a good idea to be able to handle that faster rebound, especially on a slippery surface like this, well, when it's not soaking wet, okay? So you gotta see that that high to low swing path is happening. You gotta prepare for it. You gotta stay down on those balls, okay? Uh, we've got one more to talk about. Should we talk about topspin? Um, no. We should talk about topspin. Backspin occurs when we hit the ball and it's spinning backwards toward us. Topspin is the opposite. So when I hit the ball and it's flying away from us, so it's like it spins over the top, right? It goes over the top. Like yeah. This? Well, let's talk about how to do it in a second. But we'll talk about that's not again not bad. Topspin comes like I'll show you when I brush up the back of the ball. So if we show the camera at home, if I'm hitting that way, right? If I brush up the back of the ball, if I swing from low to high, then that's going to make that ball rotate and have top spin. I'm gonna go now, get the ball. if I go low to high like this, yes. but the paddle face is open, uh -huh. it's gonna fly high, right? Yeah. Now, I don't wanna close it, because if I hit like this, the ball's gonna go down into yeah. the net. Yeah, right? that's straight. So I need to swing low to high with a neutral paddle face, we call it. So I'm brushing up this way. That's gonna help I, the ball I, to I'm rotate so and uh, not go flying high in, in the air. <laughs> now, why might you do top spin? Well, there's a few different reasons. Oh, that good. To all things being equal, a shot hit with top spin won't go as far as a shot not hit with topspin. It'll shorten the distance the ball travels. And this is really useful when you want to hit hard. We know what happens if you hit hard, like let's say you hit a hard serve. If you hit hard and you hit high, the ball yeah. is likely to go too far. Oh, you're yeah. back. Yeah, you want to be on this side now? Yeah. And so when we hit with topspin, it's a way that we can still hit hard, still hit pretty high over the net, and hopefully keep the ball in play. Right? You want to hit it that way, see if you can do topspin? Um, top, this one? Uh, so it's straight up and down. Okay. And you brush up the back of the ball. So English? from from low to high. Yeah, okay. like that. There you go. Okay. So we see players use topspin a lot when they're serving, so they can still hit hard and have a decent margin for error. We see it a lot of the time when they're driving the ball, like a third shot, and you want to keep that ball in play. Well, a drive is when you hit low and fast. Um, even on shots like dinks and drops, we're seeing more and more topspin because that way you can get the ball up and over the net and hopefully it then comes down and lands around people's feet where it's tricky to handle. So it's that low to high swing path with a neutral paddle face. Um, a note about grips here. You can use different grips to be able to do this. Um, if you hold with your hand slightly behind the handle like this, we call this an Eastern forehand grip. See how the paddle face is straight up and down? That's really nice for hitting with topspin. If I use what some people call a hammer grip, but the technical term is a continental, well, the paddle face kind of naturally opens. You can do it. Yeah, look at that ball spin, right? It naturally opens with a continental face, so it's a little bit tricky. You can do it, but it's kind of uncomfortable. You've got to really turn your body. So it's preferred to use this eastern forehand grip, making it easier to go low to high. One more time. 
Oh, are you doing the slice? Well, the top spin is where you brush up. Oh yeah, so that's when it's open, and you just go, yeah, boom, back spin, nice. Okay, so there we go. Those are our three kinds of spin: top spin, back spin, side spin. Give it a try. It takes a, it's a lot about feel, so it might take you a little bit of practice. And uh, a wall can work well with this, and a ball machine can be great too. Okay. Do you like my paddle? I think they like your paddle. All right. See you soon.